What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Silver Randomized Nuzlocke. I hope you guys had a fantastic weekend. I know we did not have any episodes over the weekend, but uh, we did get some training in before this episode, so we are going to do a party recap. I do apologize. We just had a busy weekend, unfortunately. Caitlin and I had a wedding to go to and things like that, and so I wasn't able to, to pre-record because I had to travel to Greenville the other day uh, before the weekend, and then obviously the weekend was busy as well. So no worries, though. We're back. We're going to continue on and hopefully make our way to Blackthorn City today. I don't know if we'll get all the way there, but we're certainly going to do the best we can. Let's take a look at our team because we did train everything up to level 38. Obviously, Martiz is still sitting at level 40, uh, so he's still kind of high up there, but... Everything else is now kind of on par. We had to get Burlette trained up as well as a few of the others. So uh, we have Lover, our Magneton, holding that magnet with Swift, Thundershock, Thunder Wave, and Sonic Boom. Still probably looking to get rid of Sonic Boom at some point, uh, but we didn't really have a ton to swap out for it at this point, and he didn't learn any new moves either. So here we are. Uh, we have got Burlette, the newest member of our team, level 38, uh, learned Feint Attack, Quick Attack, and Pursuit. I did teach Burlette Bubble Beam, Honestly, the biggest reason I did that was for training. Um, there were a lot of, as you saw, Doug Trios, Ponytas, things like that, that Bubble Beam just kind of one-shotted. Uh, and so I was like, you know what? Let's just let's just go ahead and teach it. We're, we know the moveset here isn't great uh, in terms of level up moveset for Burlette. Uh, so it actually is okay to just have a little extra type coverage on there. We have got Varen, our Fur Alligator. Learned Slash in that uh, training montage. Still has Cut, Bite, and Water Gun as well. We have got Origins, our Scizor with Pursuit, also learn Slash, uh, Extreme Speed, and Metal Claw. We have Powerhouse, our Articuno, still looking to get a better moveset here, but Gust, Powder, Snow, Fly, and Surf. And then last but not least, Martiz, level 40, holding that focus band with Teleport, Confusion, Psychic, and Side Beam. Got a lot of good stuff, guys. Got a lot of good stuff. Today, we are going to be jumping through route, I believe it's 44, uh, and we do have a number of encounters to get as well, so we're going to hopefully uh, see how this goes, guys. We got some battles. We got a cave to get through. We got all kinds of stuff. But I hope you guys did have a fantastic weekend as we are jumping into our first battle. As I said, Kayla and I had a wedding to go to. We had a great time. We didn't stay super long uh, just because it was hot, <laughs> to be brutally honest. Uh, we live in South Carolina and we're in the, a bit of a heat wave at the moment. Uh, oh man, come on now. Let's not do this. Let's not do this round one. Um, we are in a bit of a heat wave at the moment, at least for this time of year, and so we were getting up, pushing towards the 90s, and it was an outdoor wedding. It was a beautiful wedding, but it was an outdoor wedding, uh, and we were all just sitting there, and not just us, there was, you know, 75 people or so, and we were all just like, this is way too hot, like, we can't do this. And the ceremony, while nice, was also a slightly longer ceremony, so it was very well done, very beautiful, but it took a while, and so everybody was... I. There was one point where I really did feel like I was just gonna like tunnel vision pass out. I was like, I can't do this. This is way too hot. Uh, but thankfully I didn't. I made it through. Uh, but it was a bit rough. It was a bit rough. Uh, but it was beautiful. The The ceremony itself was great. It's an old friend of mine uh, from my scout days. If you didn't know, I am a, 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 an Eagle Scout. Uh, and so I did uh, have a really good time seeing him again. It had been a while. Uh, and, and again, the ceremony was great. It was fun to fun to see him. So uh, congratulations to my good friend there and uh, great to great to hang out and have a nice little a nice little event. It's been a while since we've been to an event, uh, if that makes sense. Like a lot of family stuff has been going on, but not like weddings and stuff because obviously of COVID. And so it's been a little weird. Like this is the first time we've been to a wedding together. That was a crit. Okay. Um, and we didn't, I mean, we would have, I'm sure, gotten to go to more, but we, we couldn't, COVID. So it was a, it was, it was a really fun experience to be able to share that with Caitlin, of course. And we have our own wedding coming up. So we were, the entire time, we were just sitting there thinking, okay, what do we like? What do we not like? You know what I mean? Like, you, you shouldn't compare and like, there's always going to be things you like and don't like, but obviously that's their wedding. They did it the way they wanted to do it, which they should. Uh, we found, I'll be honest, a lot we did not want to do in our wedding, um, which is fine. Again, they have a very different style than we do. And so it was, 
It was a little bit like, nah, don't want to do that. Nah, don't want to do that either. <laughs> it, was, it was a lot of that. Uh, but that's okay. We had a great time. It was really fun to see him, like I said. So very, very happy uh, for them. And I'm ready to get into this week, guys. We got a lot of stuff to do this week. Uh, we've got, obviously, a lot of Pokemon to record, a lot of magic to record, uh, and some new spoilers for Modern Horizons 2, uh, which I cannot wait for. Um, I did check them this morning, and I did, uh, I have scheduled a couple things to go up uh, for them, because we've got some really cool stuff. Uh, Dagon is back, uh, which I absolutely love that card. I thought it was such a cool classic card. And so I'm really stoked to see him in Planeswalker form. Uh, and his Planeswalker card looks pretty sweet, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, they also brought back some really interesting mechanics. Obviously, cycling is back. Island walk, excuse me, ooh, burped, uh, is a thing, uh, which is kind of interesting, in my opinion. Um, they bought back, brought back Eternalize. They have uh, Suspend. I mean, they, they brought back a lot of stuff. I mean, they did a lot in the first Modern Horizons. That was a really good set, in my opinion. So I'm stoked to see Modern Horizons 2. And I, I do think it's going to be a very solid set. It looks very good already. So we will see how it shakes out. Really stoked to see what the rest of the set holds for us. Um, but the first one was great. I'm expecting the second one to be pretty awesome as well. Uh, and we'll see. We will see, guys. Also, you may notice I don't have my cards behind me. I just have this lovely guitar. Uh, and the reason being, so Caitlin and I shared this office space for quite a while, uh, but we found out recently that she is going back into uh, in-person school. She works from home, she is a teacher, uh, and she did a great job in the virtual academy, which is what they're calling it kind of here. Um, she did a really good job, but they're not holding on to like most of their teachers. So a lot of them are going back to uh, in-person school, which means we didn't really need the shared office space anymore. And so we took some of our time over the weekend to uh, clean up around this area and like get it all squared away. We moved some stuff. Uh, the cards are all that way. Uh, <laughs> and I have my guitars sitting back here. You can only see one of them, but if I do that, there's the new one. Look at that little guy over there. I really like that guitar. That's my new guitar, and I'm very happy about it. Um, and yes, I have been practicing with it a lot. Uh, I also got a new little practice amp that I love. Um, and so yeah, I'm just, I'm just having a great time. It was a busy but a very good weekend. Uh, a lot of fun things happened. So I'm just excited to be back, guys. I missed you. I very much missed you. Uh, Sure, that's fine. Let's get this thing out of here. Burlet is very bulky. One thing we need to, to keep in mind is that anytime we need a safe switch in, uh, assuming no super effective kind of hits, and even, honestly, some super effective hits aren't the worst. We just saw Double Kick do, like, very little. Um, Burlet is such a safe swap in because of how power, or just bulky Burlet is. So, very, very happy to have Burlet on the team, despite not having the best moveset in the world. Um still offers a lot of bulk for the team and between that and honestly for physical attacks having a magneton lever on the team um we've got some bulky mons so we've got some walls as needed uh which is great plus we have our big special attacker as well i'm gonna stay in here and we'll just faint attack um that cry is something else <laughs> uh I also, surprisingly, did not forget to bring up Patreon because we do get at least two encounters in this episode uh, alone. Uh, so I'm really excited because we got the cave and we got this Route 44 encounter. There's a mint berry. Um, just wanted to clear out a lot of these trainers before we do anything. I told you guys from the beginning we are going to be taking our time. The last episode was a bit longer than I wanted, <laughs> uh, but I was trying to finish off Team Rocket. That got a little monotonous to me. Uh, it was just just so much Team Rocket, uh, and so I'm very happy to be through that portion of the game. We'll try. I'm a little afraid of a self-destruct here. Uh, uh, we'll see. We will see. We are very bulky though, so I like to think we might be okay. All right, there's self-destruct. All right, Burlet, come on, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Yes, look at that. See how bulky Umbreon is? My gosh, that's amazing. Uh, but yeah, so last episode was a bit of a long one, kind of painstakingly long in my opinion, 
Um, let's make sure we didn't have any more trainers here. We're gonna go heal up and then we are gonna go get our encounter just so we can lead with Lover since we do have Thunder Wave on that. Uh, it's obviously kind of the best one we can go for. I will say the one thing that I did get rid of on uh, Origins, our Scizor, is False Swipe. False Swipe is really, really good for catching Pokemon. However, uh, I found that, you know, we we already have Lover on the team. I'm not terribly worried about uh, the ability to catch Pokemon anymore because we have such a solid team and a lot of solid stuff in the PC. So my thought is let's get rid of that. Let's get Slash on there because Slash is just such a good move, especially for a heavy hitting Scizor like that. Um, and so it just made sense to me. I think that's a good swap. Obviously, let me know what you guys think, but uh, that just seemed like the way to go for me. All right, we might... Yeah, there we go. We got the encounter. I believe there is an item over here, though, so we are going to keep going. And it's a Venonat. Not the most exciting encounter, if I'm going to be honest. Uh, but we will still do our best to catch it. Um, we'll Thunder Wave it first. Uh, of course. Oh, and I have a great name for it. Our newest member of Patreon. This is such a good name. Okay, we're going to Swift and hope this doesn't just knock it out. If it does, it's fine. Okay. Fully paralyzed. Perfect. All right, let's let's uh, let's let's throw a little Pokeball at this thing. Let's go Great Ball. If we can get it, we're going to name it after Young Krillin, who is the newest member of our Patreon. Uh, and the eyes remind me of Krillin's head, uh, which I think is funny. So that's just perfect, in my opinion. Uh, for those of you thinking you could Master Ball it, you're right. But I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Perfect, Venonat was caught. We are calling this thing Krillin. Oh, it is a female. That's fine, we're gonna call it Krillin anyway. I really like that. Krillin, thank you so much for joining our Patreon very recently. I certainly appreciate it, it's great to have you. Uh, and look at this, we got Krillin on the team. Uh, let's go, Krill let's spell it correctly. All right, perfect. We are gonna keep going over here and see because there is an item. I don't wanna lose any of these items because if they're readily available, like, ah, oh, TNT, we already have that. Uh, if they're readily available, I'm gonna try and get them solely because, uh, let's, let's try and kill this thing. Uh, we could get another Master Ball. You have no idea what we could get. And so I wanna make sure that we uh, take the time to get uh, as many of these items as we can at the very least. Uh, oh, also in, in training, I forgot to say, oh, Friend Ball. That's fun. Uh, I forgot to mention, uh, Powerhouse did try to learn a move, um, but it was Mind Reader, <laughs> uh, which isn't very good, in case you don't know. Uh, and so I was all too happy not to let him, or let uh, Powerhouse learn that. Let's uh, let's throw Origins out front. We haven't seen a lot of Origins lately. Uh, Origins was kind of falling behind in terms of levels, honestly, uh, all the way down to level 32. Uh, I think the next to lowest, of course, next to Burlet, who we had just added to the team. So it was a little bit more training, but Burlet, or, uh, excuse me, Origins hits hard, like real hard. Uh, and so we do need to use Origins a bit more. I think the issue, oh, love that little glint. Uh, I think the only issue I have with Origins is that it doesn't like type check a whole lot. Obviously Steel type does some, uh, but that's really about it. Uh, and so, it's fine, because it's just a really powerful mod, but we never like actively swap into it because of that. Uh, we've got other checks for things that kind of do a better job. Oops, that wasn't very good. Uh, and so, generally speaking, we don't just shoot for Origins most of the time, but I do think we should. Uh, I'm just gonna slash it. I do think E-Speed on this thing is ridiculous. Like, that's just super good. <laughs> um, yeah, that's fine. Uh, let's pursue this thing. And then we do get to go into Ice Cave. I believe it's called Ice Cave. Honestly, I don't even know, but Ice Path. Hard in me. It's Ice Path, guys. Get it right. All right, so we are gonna get another encounter here. Uh, hopefully it's something really sweet. I really want, I want an encounter that makes me, makes me question our team. That's what I want. I want some drama on the team uh, because we've got such a good team, but I wanna make sure that we, uh, we get some other good stuff. All right, good, done, easy. All right, here it is, guys. This is our encounter for the ice path. Let's see what we get. Ooh, okay. Yo, I actually really like Aerodactyl. Uh, that's actually a really sweet Pokemon. We would not use it yet, but there is definitely a world in which we would. Uh, 
I don't know what could happen to uh, Powerhouse, but if something happened to Powerhouse, this would give us a flying type that also just hits like a truck. Like, dude, the attack on Aerodactyl is sweet. So I'm super into this. I really like it. I think we can go for one more Sonic Boom safely, and then we can start throwing some Great Balls. Look at that. It already knows Wing Attack too, which is honestly a step above the gust that we have on uh, on Powerhouse. I was gonna look up to uh, Articuno Learn Set uh, Silver. I just want to see. Did we catch it, dude? First try, heck yeah. Okay, so Ice Beam is the next move that Articuno learns, and it's level 49. It does not learn Wing Attack. It just doesn't, uh, which to me is weird. Uh, who do we want to name this after? Uh, oh, look at that. All right. Is this male or female? It is male. Uh, we're gonna go after Sam. Sam, I don't know honestly how to say your last name. I'm gonna give it an attempt. Lichinet? Lich Lichinet? I don't know. Uh, but Sam, we're gonna name this guy after you. It is a pleasure to have you in our Patreon, my friend. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much for the support. And guys, as a reminder, if, uh, if you don't know how we are naming our- Oh, here's Bill. Uh, I'm not- I'm not- Oh, we have to swap boxes. Okay. Good. Thank you so much, Bill. I do appreciate that, honestly, because it does mean you can't catch Pokemon if, uh, if you don't do that. Uh, but guys, yes, if you would like to be named after a uh, Pokemon in this series or a, an encounter that we have, the only thing you got to do is be a patron. Doesn't matter which level of patron, uh, but you do have to be a patron. Uh, I just thought that was a fun way to say thank you to them, uh, and so that's kind of where that came from. Uh, and honestly, it means that, uh, you know, we get to we get to do some fun stuff with the patrons. I really like that. We don't we don't do enough to say thank you to the patrons, I don't believe. Uh, and so any way that we can kind of highlight them a little bit more uh, seems like a good idea to me. So let's run. We don't really want to fight that. I really do like Aerodactyl, though. That's like a very solid encounter, in my opinion. I really, really like it. Oh, this is going to be a pain, isn't it? I don't remember how to do these. If I end up speeding up through these, uh, just know I, I'm gonna speed up through these. <laughs> I don't really know what to tell you. Uh, here? Wrong. Oh no, guys, I don't know what to do here. I hate these. All right, here, here. Maybe, oh man, almost. Almost. All right. How do we do it? How do we do it, guys? How do we do it? That's not it. If I end up looking this up, don't be mad. Uh. Oh, no. All right. I'm looking it up, guys. We have to. We have to. I don't want to. I don't want to spend all day doing this uh, because it could take forever. And so I am not gonna let this episode go as long as I let the other episode go for. All right, so where are we at, where are we at? Uh, what? Oh, okay, I see, I see, I see, I see. All right, so let's, let's just do this. We're going back to the beginning and we're gonna find a Pokemon. It's fine. We didn't need to even need to speed up. There's a Gramble in here. Gramble's actually kind of sweet too. We don't really need a Gramble, obviously, but that's a pretty cool Pokemon. All right, here we go, guys. Let's try and do this. So we're gonna go up. We're gonna go left. We're gonna go up. We're gonna go right. Up, down, do, 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 do. Yep, nailed it. Yes, yes, and yes. Look at that. Oh, thank you, walkthroughs, for being amazing. Uh, okay, but so here's my question. So I'm pretty sure... Yeah, we need to get to this one as well, right? Uh, here, 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 and here. Look at that, didn't even need to walk through that one. But that is HM7, which we obviously are gonna want. Uh, which one is HM7, though? Is it Waterfall? I also have Ice Punch. We've got some really killer... It is Waterfall. Can this be taught to for Alligator? Yes. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. All right, let's teach Waterfall. <laughs> let's get rid of Water Gun. Um, 
because we can't freaking learn anything else. <laughs> All right, let's do this. I love it. That was really good. Uh, that was such a great... Oh, I'm so glad that worked. Okay. Let's do this. Uh, and let's do this one. Um, again, I may have to look up a walkthrough as we go through a lot of this, but we'll see. Do we have a strength user again? I don't know if we have a strength user. Okay. Uh, let's do this. Yeah, we don't. Alright, let's teach strength to something. I don't like that we have to do that. That's so annoying to me. All right, let's do it. Um, Burlet, yeah, honestly, Burlet learning strength, not the worst thing in the world. Uh, what do we get rid of? Probably just, uh, yeah, probably just quick attack. Um, all right, I don't know if we're gonna make it all the way through this cave, guys. It's already at 21 minutes, oh my gosh. How time flies. This doesn't work, does it? Whoops. There are Gyarados in here? There are Gyarados in here, guys. That's a little, that's a little uh, sad. I really wanted a Gyarados. Um, no, I didn't mean to fight you. Please don't, no, leave, 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 quick, leave. All right, should have bought repels. That's a thing we should have bought, for sure. All right, let's do that. This is gonna get annoying. This is gonna get very annoying, guys. I know it. I know it already, and it's okay. It's fine. Uh, let's try and get through this cave. We'll see how long it takes us, uh, because again, I just don't wanna like sit here forever doing it, but... All right, we can get the first one in here. Oh no, we can't. Oh man, why do I suck at this? <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm not very good at these. Uh, let's do this. Cause I think I'm just wrong in all cases on this one. Let's see. Yeah, I totally am. All right, we're gonna go reset these real quick, guys. Because you know what? I think that's the right thing to do. We're just gonna we're just gonna reset. We're gonna come back, and that should get us back to where we need to be. Problem solving, everybody. Problem solving. All right, so. Let's get this one down here, because there is... I also have a little walkthrough of this one, just to be safe. Uh, so, we do this. We do this. Gyarados. Fanfy. Alright. That's fine. Alright. Uh, I love Origins. So freaking cool. Alright, get out of here. Let's just do this. So, instead of going up, we should have gone down. Mistakes were made. All right, so then we do this, then we do this, then we do this, and then we do that. All right. First one, done. All right. Second one is over here. Right, okay, so. Yes, I know there are Pokemon in here. I don't want to fight you. There's Chansey, though. Oh. All right, I should probably fight a Chansey. They just give a lot of experience, guys. Honestly, let's just see what Slash does. Is it Slash? Is it special or physical that's really good against Chansey? Because one's really good and one sucks. Okay. Apparently, physical's the way to go. Good to know. Good to know. All right, let's do this. Oh my gosh. All right. Guys, how are we doing this week? Let me know in the comments section below. Give me something fun that you did over the weekend. It could be anything. It could just be that you laid around and watched a movie. It could be that you got to play some uh, some magic with some friends. It could be that you played a little Pokemon. Maybe you did. Uh, but regardless, guys, let me know what you ended up doing for fun this weekend. Uh, I actually, I was gonna mention too, I was able very, very kindly to hang out with Will uh, this weekend, which was an absolute amazing, amazing time. I absolutely miss Will. Uh, we hadn't gotten to, like, hang out in person in a while. Uh, so it was a really fun time being able to, to hang out. We got to go play a round of disc golf. Uh, we played 18 holes out at Boyd Hill. What? Guys, there's a Lugia. Oh, I really want Lugia. We can't, though. Oh, I really want Lugia. That's so sad. Okay. Nope, it's fine. Everything's fine. Dang. That's so cool, though. <laughs> Alright, uh... 
Now, how do we do this one? Ah, uh, okay, we have to, like, walk all the way back around, though. That sucks. All right. One more. Come down here. Uh, also, we are talking... Will and I were talking about doing the next versions of... Oh! Don't, don't keep doing this. Uh, we're talking about doing an Oris playthrough, uh, just for fun. Um, but then potentially doing one for the channel after this silver playthrough. So that might be the next, uh, series of Pokemon stuff that we do. Um, and it'd be really fun because, again, soul linking it is, like, obviously way better than just playing by yourself. Plus, it's just another project for, like, Will and I to kind of get our heads around together, which I think is just a fun time. Um, so... Uh, we'll see. We'll see. All right, the boulder fell through. Lovely. That's delightful. All right. Let's get through this. We are so close. All right. We are actually really close at this point, so I am going to try and push through in this episode, guys. I'm not going to fight the Chansey. It's fine. Experience is great, but you know what? The experience is really the journey together. All right, so how in the world do we get through this stupid thing? Um, <laughs> I'm looking it up because again, I'm slow at this kind of thing, and so I want to be, uh, want to be faster. Um, or we will not find the walkthrough, and it's fine. We may not. Uh, nope, don't see it. All right, well we're just gonna. There's an item somewhere in here. Is there a hidden item here? Yeah, there totally is. We have no space left. Oh, that's fine. I don't really need a star piece. Is there an item here? Yeah. All right. Oh, look, powerhouse. Dude, all kinds of good stuff here. Uh... All right, that one. Okay, I see it. Perfect. All right, let's see what this item is, and then we will get out of here. A dire hit. Nope, don't want that. Okay. So, let's do this. Stop finding Pokemon! <laughs> yes, we see you, and you're very sweet, and I love you, Powerhouse, but we don't need you right now, bud. We've had you for, like, a while, and I'm very thankful for that. But, let's do this, we do this, we do this, we do this. Look at that! Problem solving, a sunstone. <sighs> no, I don't, I don't care about a sunstone. All right. Can we rock smash this? Da, 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 da. Yo, there meganium in here? There's all kinds of good stuff in this ice bath. Uh, we should have trained here. <laughs> um, if only we were that far ahead, we could have. All right, I'm not gonna worry too much about, but it's like right there. I know we're prolonging this, guys. It's such a useless item too. That feels terrible. All right, it's okay. We're almost there. We are almost there. I believe in us. Yes, shine like the origins you are. All right, let's get out. We got this. I don't remember what to do. It's fine. We're just, oh, dang it. Yeah, we actually do have to try, don't we? Gosh darn it. Okay. Mystery Vis, we actually have one of you. I don't remember what we named our mystery this. It was a really cool name, if I recall. Um, we've had some cool names from you guys on the series, so I'm very happy about that. All right, let's just, I think we can just go straight and then over. I know there's an item there. I really just don't care at this point. Let's do this, 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 this. And out, maybe. Yes? Yes! Alright, I may come back in between episodes and kind of pick some of that stuff up. Please don't be a trainer. Okay, cool. Let's go heal, guys, and we are going to end this episode. This has been a long episode. We've had a couple long ones in a row here, but this was very productive. We got all the way to Blackthorn City, which means in the next episode... We got a lot to do, so I am very excited, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this series. Please leave a like or a comment down below. Let me know if you did something fun this weekend as well. I would very much appreciate it. And guys, have a great Monday. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Thank you again so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode of our Pokemon Silver Randomized Nuzlocke. See you guys then.